So I'm with manager Simon Weaver following the one all draw against Vauxhall. Different match from Saturday, Simon. Yes, I, I thought we only turned up for the first half. I thought we were poor uh, in the second half and we were lucky to escape um, with a one all draw. Great shot by Adam Bold to set things going. I mean, what were your thoughts when that goal went in? I just wanted us to keep the hammer down and play at the same tempo uh, you know, in their territory, playing their territory, their half, and uh, and really set our own standard. And we, we seem to go in protected mode second half, despite the saying at half time, John and I, um, that when you, you play on the front foot in their half and you get it down and play, then um, we're a match for anyone. But, uh, but we didn't do that and we went into protective mode which in slim when you just one nil up that, that is sometimes the case but you've got to force the issue you've got to make sure that you, you're not just camping in on the edge of 18 so the guys obviously went in at one up, uh, one up at half time what was the mood like in the dressing room and, and how you know what did you try and do the second half to keep it going well it, it was upbeat at half time and I said okay it's decent but we can show more quality as well we're not playing to our maximum um, and uh, you've got to expect them they've got nothing to lose the one nil down let's have a go you know to get back in the game and they got the tails up but because we dropped they had a lot more space to play in our half uh, they changed their system went lopsided and um, you know they had the three centre midfielders they had the one forward dropping in um, and it, it was very difficult to play to play against but that's because we didn't keep the ball when we did have uh, possession we kept losing the ball and, and hoofing it into no man's land and it was just giving them the ball back and they could they were right in the ascendancy and we struggled we struggled the second half uh, it's got to be lessons learned and we won't be sloppy uh, a few of the lads looked leggy which concerned me and yet on Saturday uh, we didn't and that was a physical contest um, teams will turn up these days and look at our pitch and think right you know, we can get it down and play uh, but we've got to make sure we're better at it. We've seen it in pre-season. We saw it at Oxford. We can, we can play. Saw it in the first half. Um, but we've got to show bravery. We've got to show mental fortitude to be able to put in 90, 92, 93 minutes. Now, I spoke to um, Shane and Dave beforehand, and it sort of says a lot of the character of this team that this a draw, and it is a draw, and we're still unbeaten. But it's it's been taken as a defeat. Well, I'm disappointed because I want three points at home, um, and I want their performance to send everyone home happy and I'm disappointed that my team is, is not really I don't feel like they're putting a real shift I think they did for half the time you know and we get paid to put in a shift for the whole duration and so we we, we didn't keep them down we let, we, we let them into it uh, by our own doing I mean, don't get me wrong give, give them credit they thoroughly deserved it um, and it was coming uh, but we shouldn't be under pressure that much pressure we've got enough quality on that side to be able to retain the ball for longer periods now, how do you sort of get the side to recover for Saturday? Because North February is always going to be a stiff test, mm. especially with their result at midweek, 4 0 against Bradford Park Avenue. What do you say to the team? What's your response now, and what do you hope their response will be as well? Well, I probably hurt a few uh, of the lads' feelings in there. Um, I just told them as it was, it's just not acceptable that kind of performance with the quality we've got. Um, go and have a think about you know, why you ran out of steam in terms of your legs, your athleticism, your passing went sloppy because of tired minds. Um, but you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be that tired if you're living right. You know, if you're doing it right and Harrogate Town's your, your priority, then you don't go under like that. Um, and you get the line up, you organise, you, you show authority, and you show character, but you show quality, that, that everyone's blessed with it. Um, but we'll dust ourselves down, we're in Thursday, and we'll work hard, and we'll work on the team shape, and we'll work, and we'll work, and work, until it's dark. And um, and make sure that everyone's roles and responsibilities are laid out in front of them so there's no excuses. Uh, we've got to be better than this because North Ferry will be a very, strong, very, very strong team. Um, they've got good foot centre forwards, they get the ball into them early and they're very good, very good competitive team so um, we've got to be better than this. We're capable of it, as everyone knows, but I, I, I feel that you know, there's been too much hype too soon. You know, you win, win nine out of ten. And then you can, you know, people can start hyping it up. We haven't achieved anything yet. Finally, I mean, we had a good crowd of 628. How pleasing was that to see oh, the brilliant. stadium full? Brilliant, and I, th I think that's part of my, why I'm a bit deflated because um, we work hard at initiatives, we work hard at, at selling the club and what we're about. And um, if you don't deliver, then uh, that's that's the biggest selling point, isn't it? If you if you deliver and perform like we know we can, 
Uh, we didn't tonight, so we owe them one on Saturday. That's great. Thank you very much. Sir.